Hey, good to see you again. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we speak. Have a look at the report. Hello guys and welcome to episode number two of our F1 2016 career mode. So as you can see we've just got our new engine fitted so we should be slightly less uh, at a disadvantage on the straights in this one. So we're at Bahrain and we're going to let the commentators introduce it. Welcome to the deserts of Bahrain where the Formula One circus has rolled into town. We're expecting the cars to appear out on track shortly to start today's practice session. So then, here we are at Bahrain on our first practice session. We are doing the track acclimatization program first, and we managed to pull off a perfect in the first lap, I think it was. Maybe. But that's a good start. Uh, Bahrain is one of my favourite tracks, I think. Uh, so we are looking for a good performance here. We're still on the uh, expert difficulty, uh, or whatever one we were on in the first episode. But I think I'll be looking to up the difficulty to the next level uh, for next episode, because this turned out to be quite a, a good race for us. Uh, but you'll see that later. So here we are, just finishing off the uh, tyre management programme. And we've managed to do quite well on this, and it looks like we're going to get a... A good. I just missed out on the perfect there because I just destroyed the tyres on that last lap. Uh, but there we are. So that's a perfect and a pass. Uh, we go very wide on that last corner, but luckily we've got a lot of time in hand on the first lap of our qualifying program. So first lap, going wide at the end, and we managed to uh, go 1.8 seconds, I think that is, under the uh, under the required time. So a very good session. A uh, very good lap there and that is pretty much us done for the practice program so moving on to qualifying and this is Q1 we're just putting in our first lap here on the super soft tires and at the moment Bottas is in pole but it looks like we are going to beat that time uh, we're on quite a good lap there and yep we go first with that time so putting in some good laps at the moment looking promising for the race and we're going to just fast forward to the end there, and we were 4th in that session, Alonso in ninth. But moving on to Q2, we're going to try and put in a lap with soft tyres, because I thought I was very good at pace on this track. So I thought I would give it a try with the soft tyres, see if we could scrape into uh, Q2, Q3 with the soft tyres. And we actually put in the fastest lap on the softs there, uh, point, just under point 0.2 ahead of the... Uh, second place person there so going into Q3 then we are running with the super softs the, soft, the set you get for Q3 and we are just coming on through onto the uh, home straight now looks like we left it till pretty much the end of the session to put in this lap waiting for the track to be at its best and we put in the fastest lap there so very good lap from us there and it looks like that is going to put us on pole for the end of this session. So, and that it does. So, pole position for us and an 8th place for Alonso. So the McLaren's doing pretty well here. Uh, that engine upgrade has obviously made a little bit of difference. As you can see, they're getting 100 resource points for the qualifying sessions. And we are now up to 499. And I believe it's 900 for the next engine upgrade so hopefully I think we'll probably get that next round I don't think we'll get enough for this round but we're gonna head over into the race now there's something in the Bahrain air tonight and I'm not just talking about the sand our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakia circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past it's McLaren in pole position then, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Rosberg, Ricardo, Max Verstappen, and Vettel, Raikkonen, Alonso, Sainz, and Felipe Massa. So we decided to go for a two-stop strategy on this one. We went with the uh, the engineer's suggestion, starting on the softs, as we uh, managed to set that really good time in 
Q2 there with the soft tyres, so that allows us to start on the softer compound. We'll then be going on to the mediums and finishing on the super softs. So, we're going to see how that's going to pan out for us in this race after we complete this formation lap. So, ready for the start, and we're going to try and get away well. Hamilton's on the super softs though, so it's going to be hard to outdrag him. But we get a pretty good getaway there, a little bit of wheel spin, but I'm going to try and give Hamilton a little bit of a squeeze, but he's just alongside me, so I'm going to have to let him have that inside line. Of course, he has the advantage with that super soft tyre. He has got the, uh, the, the more grip off the start line there. And our goal is going to just try to be to stay on the back of him, maybe put in a dive at some point, just trying to stay with him, because if we can... He's going to have to come in on around lap 5, lap 6 on those super softs, whereas we're going to stay out till about lap 10, 11, I would expect. So we just got to try and stay with him, try not to let him get away too much and see how that puts us in this first stint. Pretty clean start, to be honest. Nothing much really happening. Just losing that place to Hamilton, but we're going to go for a very late dive. Hamilton's locked up into that first corner, so we've managed to just slide down the inside there. Locking up that inside right tyre Hamilton and that just left the door open for us to just sneak through there. I don't know why but I seem to be really good on the brakes with this McLaren. It just allows us to put in these really late moves and just get some really easy places. Um, but at the moment we got Hamilton right on us now. He's going to try and shove it down the inside. He's going to get on the inside there. It's a little bit of contact there but we managed to just about keep it together going to try and get in Hamilton's slipstream there. He has got the DRS activated, but we're going to try and go for a move down the inside, I would expect again, as we have been very good on the brakes, and that we do, and as you can see, just can go much later on the brakes than any of the AI, really, so I don't know if that's because of the difficulty we're running, but as I said, we're going to be changing that next episode. As you can see, 75% wear on the front left tyre there. We're going very deep into the stint coming in on the end of lap 11 so this was pretty dangerous actually I was a bit worried that my front left might actually blow up at some point um, might get a puncher but we managed to just make it back to the pit lane so we're gonna change onto the medium compound now and to be honest nothing much really happened in this race um, I mean I was kind of in in the middle of nowhere for the whole race um, we're gonna come out behind Hamilton Rosberg and I think I think Raikkonen might get past us as well. So yeah, we come out in fourth place there. Uh, we're on the mediums, Raikkonen on the soft, so he's going to be coming in. I don't know what tyre he started on. I would expect super soft, so he's probably going to be coming in around lap 16, I would expect, and that will put us back up into third place. And of course, we will be finishing on the super softs, probably pitting around lap 24, I would say. So our goal is just to try and stay on the back of Raikkonen, then we can pick up that podium place when he comes into the pits. And as you can see, like I said, nothing much really happened. Um, no one near me for the last eight laps or so. And we're now on lap 23, coming towards the end of the race. And we are in P1. Just about to come in for our final pit stop, I believe, going on to the super soft set of tyres. So we're going to just try and keep it together. I'm not sure what kind of wear these tyres are on, but... I would expect they're probably around 60%, something like that. I think I saw that Rosberg and Hamilton were actually around 16 seconds behind me, and I'm going to lose about 23 on this pit stop, so I thought my, I was supposed to come in on about lap 25 to go onto the super softs, but I thought I'd just come in a few laps early just to give me that chance of maybe catching up with Hamilton and Rosberg towards the end of the race. So here we are, looking for a good stop from our team. And we get a 2.1, so that's pretty good. Not bad for the McLaren team there. Hopefully we can come out in front of Vettel. I'm not sure how far behind we are of Hamilton and Rosberg. But they are close together, so hopefully they will be uh, slowing each other up a little bit. So as you can see, we only just get out in front of Vettel, actually. And that was very lucky, because that would have cost us a lot of time trying to get past him. But we do have the tyre advantage over Betels, so we should be pulling away quite easily over the next lap or two. Of course, towards the last two laps, we're probably going to be running a bit low on grip because these tyres will degrade quite quickly. But 
hopefully we should be able to hang on, keep it together. As you can see the gap to Rosberg and Hamilton is closing, it's now down to about 6 seconds, uh, actually 4, we just put in the fastest lap there and took about 2 seconds now of Hamilton and Rosberg that lap, but we're just going to try and see if we can catch them. And as you can see, skipping to lap 29, we have actually managed to close this gap up to Rosberg and Hamilton very close now. It's almost less than a second. We're going to try and get as close as we can. I go a bit deep, a bit, turning a bit early on that corner. Lost us a little bit of time here. And I'm not sure we're going to be able to catch him. I lock up the front left tyre there, and that's lost us a lot of time on that exit. Really going deep into that corner and losing the drive out of that corner there. And I just don't think we're going to have, if it was maybe an extra lap, we might be able to catch them. But I think we've just left it a bit too late. We go really wide there and that's pretty much the end of it there. So it looks like we're going to have to settle for third place. But a podium place finish in the McLaren Honda is not a bad effort at all. As I was saying, probably a little bit too easy for me at the moment, I would say. So we're going to up the difficulty a level next episode and we'll see how that goes um, but as can't really ask for much more there a third place finish is not bad especially on a track like Bahrain with these long straights I thought the McLaren was going to struggle but we managed to pull out a good performance there so I'm quite happy with that and here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race they've excelled here as they so often do and it's a well-deserved victory Mercedes then are on top today. So then, it's time to see how this... So as you can see, third place there... Fernando coming in in 8th place there, same as his uh, qualifying position, so he's done quite well there as well. McLaren getting some good points, and that actually moves me up to 5th in the championship standings, just above my teammates, so going well so far. Resource points, we end up with 587, so we need about 320 more to get that upgrade. And as you can also see, we've pretty much won the rivalry against Alonso. So we probably will take that next episode. But that's the end of this episode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.